I'm gonna use the Milani. <laughs> No interruptions for right now, but I'm pretty sure my son might come in. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. And before we get started, if you're not new to my channel, hello, my name is Christina. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and hit that notification bell for every time I upload a new vlog, a new okay. video. So recently I haven't been seeing not as much videos like this so i thought maybe i'd be the first person to do these types of tutorial especially for an occasion a day where you just want to look a little bit pretty even though you haven't worn any makeup as past week or the so whole week. this kind of will be a get ready with me makeup tutorial before we go to the hair salon so this tutorial i'm very excited because there's some good things coming along my way so I don't want to say too much but you'll see in the upcoming week once I post I'll let you ladies know for sure but so we don't keep talking too much let's go ahead and get started on this makeup tutorial I won't go in depth it will just be me just telling you what products I use and then you'll just see me throughout the whole video being quiet so that way you guys can see that I'm getting ready because I will also be filming this in a short reels in case you guys prefer um, I also that. use the Bioactive Ceramide Repairing and Plumping Moisturizer from Inky List. This is my favorite brand and I like to use product especially when I start feeling a little bit dry in certain areas so I like to use the product mainly on my face but i like to drag it down that way it gives a lot of moisture on my neck and i feel more refreshed I use my my fingers but today I decided to use my brush because I feel like it applies better and the application just looks good and if you guys are asking I'm actually using the elf putty blush the cream blushes that you're supposed to use with this brush but you could use this brush however you feel like it in your makeup kit are really good for skincare and creams. I'm gonna use my favorite gel and this is the gummy hair gel. Obviously it's for men's hair, but we have brows, which are hair, and I use this and this is a great gel. So if you want me to put you on, Try this out. Elf Putty Primer. I let my moisturizer, my skincare sit so that everything is nicely well prepped. And I only use a certain amount of primer. I don't use a whole lot. So if you really aren't the person that likes to put primer on because your skin is super prepped and you trust your makeup with your skincare then do what you were doing before but me i just like a little bit of primer so that my makeup stays on because i do have creases under my so eyes the contour that i'm using today is called the baby essence got it bronze and I only use a little bit because as y'all can see, it matches a tad bit of my skin, but it's hard to tell. But here, like on my nose, you can tell, but I, I just only use a certain amount.
little bit more. This is so hard whenever you have to like film for reels and then you have to do some of it on camera. It's super hard, but I'm using a dry sponge. I know that can be cringe for some of you mature skin, but trust me, sometimes having a dry sponge for some reason it works really good and it doesn't leave my eyes too creases because it's pushing in the concealer and it's locking everything in without me having to go in with a brush. I still love my brushes, but sometimes I like to alter. I had like some little pimples that I'm going to cover up and I use like this little sponge, I mean this little brush that I use for my brows and I go over it. It might not show up, but we're gonna use a different concealer that way it covers. Okay, that now we're gonna use Too Faced and I'm only putting a very thin amount because I don't want this to be too full coverage. This concealer is so good for all around like a foundation because I sometimes use this as foundation since I don't have a foundation. It gives you full coverage, but it can be a little cakey. While that sometimes. sets, I'm gonna use my Truth and Bear from Morphe and I'm just gonna use this brown shade here. Just follow the guide and I go light strokes. Okay, now I'm going to blend that concealer So now that we finished with that, you already know what's my favorite powder, but today we are going to switch it up. So I'm just going to use this today. I was going to use my translucent, but I decided why not just switch it up, try something different. So instead of me using such a harsh brush, I'm going to use this and then I'm going to place it where I concealed it. favorite blush because this is actually a bronzer but it doesn't show up on my skin and I don't know if it's because I got the wrong shade so I ended up getting this one instead of the other one because I thought maybe it'll be too dark and then once I applied it to see if it'll give me like some type of bronze it looked more like a blush than it did a bronzer so this is what I use and I'm just gonna put it on the bridge of my nose and on this button part of my nose and then I just drag it out like this and I also like to put some on my brows I'm as well. I use the butt part to blend. You can use also your fingers. I prefer using my fingers but since I have my sponge with me I'm gonna use whatever is near my vicinity. That way I can blend this a lot quicker than using my fingers sometimes. Looking for something that will give you that type of pink look but without having to spend so much money, please check out Steve Laurent Beauty. They have the really pretty highlighters, shades, and lip liners. Those are my favorite. I've been using Steve Laurent for years and when they gifted me this blush, I've been obsessed ever since. So all those blushes that you see
for the right moment, but I'm super excited to show you guys because I've already mentioned this lash brand before and so we're going to introduce it because content she's been an influencer for a very long time and it's her small business so i wanted to do a shout out of the libre lash she just came out with a new edition which is called natural and they are called natural lashes and for some girlies who don't really like a full voluminous lashes she has created ones that are so pretty so small that you could barely tell they're even uh, lashes number that i got which is the name it is called number eight and this is how they look my own cutting and i had to cut them up to the size of my eye but i'm going to try them on just for you i was gonna wait for the right moment to wear this to show you guys how pretty it looks but i didn't want to spoil the moment so here we are we're gonna try it I'm sorry you guys i had to stop what i was doing because i got distracted so much on my brows that i had to go back and fix them and they were not going the way that i wanted but i mean this is as far as we're gonna get with this so this is what i would look like if i was like in a rush the lashes did took me a little while to do so just to recap i did put on my steve laurent lip liner in uptown and then my road in salted caramel on top so this is what we got the little concoction i also did put my soleil bronzer from milani cosmetics and this is what we came up with so the lashes they're still a little bit dramatic in my opinion they're not as thin as i thought they were but either way like they're still beautiful and i got them to the length that i wanted them to look so these are number eight and you let me know how you feel about the libre lash they're called algo natural of sarai so yeah. about that but so far i don't hate this look the lashes are beautiful yes i decided to put my hair down because what i had on was okay but it was just not looking the way i would have wanted it so i just ended up going with this look so if you are trying to get your makeup done before you go to the hair salon try this tutorial out and see if you can make it by 10 20 minutes before you have to go to your appointment this type of look i would gravitate towards because it's not too much it's not heavy but you still look beautiful and with the summer coming up this look will look perfect my so i hope you guys got to enjoy my get ready with me makeup tutorial to the hair salon and i'll see you guys next time on my next tutorial